I had to try to use to to do list for for the whole week, but really it was not productive with my time because it was distracted and they had to allow it because it was not tracking my time. But <clears throat> when I was using Google Calendar, my time was planned and everything was in my to do list in my in my Google Calendar. But to do list I failed using it really because it doesn't make you productive, just makes you unproductive. Because you put in the tasks but you don't do them. To do them like you don't you don't put in the time of doing them and that is really not good. You put in the tasks in the to do list, but you don't you don't put in the time to get the tasks done, which isn't good really. So I have decided I'll be using I'll be using Google Calendar to plan my days and I think it would be more beneficial than using to do list. To do list isn't good really. Maybe if you use two apps, use to do list and use Google Calendar, that also may be good. But only using a to do list is just good. This morning I have not done it. Like it was not tracking my team, I don't know where my team is. And yesterday I had to delete Google Calendar because <laughs> because like it was not like doing what sticking to it, sticking to my schedule. But now, like I was watching a video, a YouTube video from 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 this from a self improvement person who makes self improvement videos. He was talking about this issue which they call mastery master and slave you become you become the master and slave you become those two things what does that mean when someone says become the master and the slave he means that you are you are the master and you are the slave how do you do that like current me sets me now current he said at do list for the for the next week a yeah? plan the next week he said this day will be doing this at this day will be reading at this time i will be going to work at this time will be doing this at this time will be doing this particular work then my future me he does not have time to think about why about what my current me has written just he his work is to get the work done is to do what is what is required or what is needed that's the work for the future me but current me has done his work of planning but future me his work is to take action and do what me, what the current me has planned out if i plan out my, my month every time every time and every minute i plan it so that's when my future me just ex ex executes yes he does the work without asking without first doing what because the work is already planned just do what's in the plan just do it. And that, that only has motivated me to start using Google Calendar to plan my days. And also another person who has motivated me to use Google Calendar to plan my days is Brandon Carter. Really, like, he's a, he's a YouTuber like that guy because he's really amazing and he has, he has improved, like helped improve most people's lives. You can search that guy on YouTube is also a good guy. Search that guy on YouTube. So, that's it. It was really confused this month to which application should I use. Only that small thing has made me think, which one should I use? Which one should I use this? Yeah, which one will help me? Eh, now it's the fair, you know, will be using Google Calendar. Let me hope I won't change my mind. Really, I've changed my mind a lot of times. Let me hope for this thing, my main, I don't change it. I keep using that app to do the work that I need to do and plan my days. A Google Calendar helps to plan the whole, you can put only three blocks, like 10 blocking, you block three blocks. And even Google Calendar is used by, 10 blocking is used by most most people in the world like Elon Musk. Elon Musk also uses uses the blocking, like blocking his time. He says from this time, this time will be doing this, from this time, this time will be doing this. So it's a really amazing thing. So thank you for watching this YouTube video. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, my friend. Bye.